before we could implement any AI, we had to create a model, which means we had to go from a bunch of pixels to an accurate representation of the world. Basically, we had to go from this to this. The first thing we did was calculate the center of the ship. We did this by finding the spot on the map that was surrounded by the most pixels of the same color as the ship, which you can see on the right represented by the ampersand. The change in the ship's position allowed us to calculate which direction our ship was moving. Next, we calculated the direction we were facing. Now, this was easy if it was north, south, east, or west, but if we had something in between, it was a bit harder. For that, we had to take into account which direction we were turning. To avoid the land and those nasty bad guys, we developed eight sensors to detect anything near our ship. Since we know where we're facing and we know where we're going, we can use that to determine what sensors to check. If there's anything in those sensors, then we take a specific action depending on where we're facing and where we're going. Since we are facing the way we are moving and there's something in our sensors, we need to turn right and boom, we lived. Gravitar is based solely on the number of points that you acquire. You acquire points by shooting enemy turrets or enemy ships. Since we only know the angle of our ship in a cardinal direction, we will fire upon the enemy when it is in our line of sight and we are facing a cardinal direction. Our agent also makes a random move to turn right or shoot right as long as there's nothing else to do. This will make sure that we get all cardinal angles and we might accidentally shoot at off angles and boom, it done did die. Now let's take a look at how well our AI agent did. First off, here's what the random agent did. Pretty terrible. And here's how a human does. Pretty good. Here's our unfinished product. It doesn't do too bad. It's slightly better than random. It's really good at avoiding things, but unfortunately, it gets killed by bad guys a lot. Our final agent did really well. In fact, in at least one case, it got pretty close to a human. It even beat the Google DeepMind agent. We got the scores for Google DeepMind and the human from a paper published by Google DeepMind. It's important to note that our random agent, bad agent, and good agent were run on a test set of 200 episodes. So you know we killed it!